When I was growing up in Miami, Florida, the environment had a traditional way of disciplinary action. My grandmother, for example, mastered the craft of chastisement. She would make us go outside and pick out our own switches, or she would boomerang her shoe at you if you were brave enough to run away. However, my mother tried a different approach, communication. When I was in trouble, when I did something wrong, she would talk to me about it, but she demanded that I communicate. She demanded that I give her my explanations. When I would muster up the strength to justify my actions, she debunked my arguments, telling me what I didn't think about, what I failed to consider. It took me a few years to effectively communicate. And as I was growing up, I noticed those same issues with my peers in high school. But then you go to college, you, at you attend a university where restraints are not as tight. And this may be so, but there are only a few places that will not limit your expression, your communication. This place is called a debate society. Debate societies create a birthplace for thinkers that impact hard science to liberal arts, but these places are not common. According to the research from the Philodemic Society of Georgetown University, debate societies are to the East Coast. This means that there are no societies to the West or Midwest of the country. In addition, it's not uncommon for Ivy Leagues to have them. The University of Georgia has the pleasure of having two debate societies, the Phi Kappa Literary Society and the Demosthenian Literary Society. Although these places are a few feet away from the arch, why aren't people packing those halls Thursday nights at 7 p.m.? The word debate is very intimidating. And that's a hard wall to break down when you're trying to invite someone to a debate society. Debate also contains public speaking, and this can be another issue. In ranking fears, public speaking is higher than death in most studies. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld does a great job by saying, this means to the average person, if you walk into a funeral, you're better off in the casket than doing the eulogy. <laughs> I have often seen students and faculty cringe away at the D word. They say things like, I'm not good at it. It's not my thing. I'm not experienced enough. I'm afraid to make a fool of myself in front of others. We inflate the word debate with so much negative connotation that it is, in fact, intimidating. When I invite people to a debate society, I say, tell us what you know, what you've researched, what you have experienced in and outside of the university. That's a simplistic idea of what debate is, a talk, a discussion, an expression of thought. Another aspect of debate is that it sharpens your communication skills, skills that are ingratiated in everyday living. If the young man here wearing the white shirt would like to be able to talk about various topics at a social setting, he will have to think on his feet extemporaneously. The young lady here wearing the beige coat would like a better paying job with more benefits. She will have to go through an interview. If any of you want to be a leader or trendsetter, you have to discuss your ideas and sometimes you have to defend them. How can you get to the level where you need to be? A debate society. There was a time I was talking to a Demosthenian about the impact of debate. His name is Kevin, and he's been in the society for eight years now. And I said, Kevin, I love debate, and I enjoy hearing the perspective of other students. And he said something that was remarkable. Kevin said, I cannot fathom a better arena in learning how to speak to the general public or a collection of peers than oratory by a group of practicing orators from a variety of disciplines. How can this 
idea worth spreading help. Well, maybe if my grandmother knew how to communicate, she would not have carried a big stick. She would have spoken softly. <laughs> Being involved in a debate society and reaping those benefits, they could be you. If you're good at public speaking, if you're bad at public speaking, if you want to be a better communicator, a debate society can create the foundation and further development of those skills. Before being involved in a debate society, I thought I did pretty good doing public speeches, but there was still work that needed to be done. I struggled with filler words. I didn't think dressing up was important. I lacked the confidence to discuss the topics that was brought up to me. But after being involved in a debate society, I learned to communicate more effectively. I learned that I could pace myself and my ideas. For the first time, I bought a suit to look professional. <laughs> Because of communication skills, the relationship with my mother has grown stronger. Tackle the word debate and experience its positive connotations. If you cannot communicate, you deprive yourself and those around you from your ideas and your thoughts. If you cannot communicate, you lose in life. You set yourself up to be left behind. Do not allow public speaking to be a fear worse than death. I challenge you to get out of the casket. I challenge you to debate. Thank you. <laughs>